हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल दिस इज डॉक्टर जनार्दन पवार फ्रॉम टी सी कॉलेज बारामती फ्रेंड्स इन लास्ट वीडियो वी पीपल हैव सीन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन एंड नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ योर टॉपिक नंबर वन एंड दैट इज इनफॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन बेसिकली वेन एवर वी थिंक अबाउट इनफॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन वी थिंक अबाउट ग्रे पॉइंट कम्युनिकेशन सो ग्रे पॉइंट इज वन ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ informal communication so we are going to talk on the last point of your topic number 1 that is grey point communication friends as there are two types of channels of communication one is formal communication and another one is informal communication so in informal communication grey point communication is one of the part of informal communication whatever informal communication we do at our organization level or at our personal level it becomes a part of informal communication so friends whenever we think about this concept of grey point mostly people they think something different and they are confused about the concept of grey point friend grey point means rumors grey point means informal communication which is not formal informal means what which is unstructured which is informal network which is called as what grey point communication friends let me give you some idea about this particular kind of communication which is there we use in our day to day life friends informal communication is one of the part of everybody's life we do n number of informal communication in our day to day life sometimes we come across with informal communication and sometimes we do not come across with informal communication the concept of informal communication is popular as grey point communication so let me tell you something about this grey point communication and how it works as far as this grey point communication is concerned grey point communication is called as unstructured way of communication which is done by using informal network formed on social relationship rather than organizational charts so here rules and regulations are not followed there is no particular way of doing this communication so organizational chart is not followed here as well as here it is totally based on or formed on social relationship of the employees then it is a informal vehicle through which message flow throughout the organization basically there is no formal way of doing this kind of communication everything is done by using informal way of communication and it will be spread among the entire organization without fail so this one is a way of passing the message by using this particular kind of communication which is called as grey point communication which is also called as informal communication so friends after that we are going to see the later part of this how it is originated and when it is originated called as called so because it stretches throughout the organization in all the directions once the rumor is passed once the rumor is generated it will be passed among all the employees and in the entire organization so there is no need to uh, go for this one in formal nature in formal formally so it can be passed throughout the directions to all the directions in the entire organization and lastly we are going to talk about how it is originated and when it is originated it is originated in 1860 in america during the civil war of america and from that particular point or from that particular day onwards we call it gray point communication so friends there is no need to get confused about this particular communication or particular type of communication which is informal communication so what you people have to remember rumors are there as a part of what informal communication or grey point communication so grey point communication is one of the important aspect of communication by using this method or in by using this channel of communication a message or communication can be done in a very very faster way and a fastest way and uh, we or in every organization this kind of method or this kind of channel of communication is always used to spread the message to spread the rumors so up to some extent this kind of communication or channel of communication is good but up to some extent it is not good without because it uh, spreads some wrong messages sometimes it creates mis misunderstandings so this is what this reason this one is not good every time but every time or in certain cases it is very good so now after the knowing the concept of grey point communication we are going to talk about 
there are different chains of grapevine communication basically there are four chains of grapevine communication there are four types of grapevine chains that we are going to discuss one by one those four types of grapevine chains are single standard chain gossip chain probability chain and cluster chain so these are the four different types of grapevine chains which are used in every business organization and uh, those chains are very popular among all types of employees in the business organization so we are going to see the information of all those chains one by one first of all single standard chain is the first chain of grape point communication so what happened here there is one single chain and it works in the organization as a grape point communication so how it works that i'm going to tell you it flows like a chain that is a tells something to b who tells it to c and so on here in this chain if you look at the picture somebody is telling to a and uh, somebody is telling to a and uh, a is going to tell to b and b is going to tell to c c is going to tell to d like this this kind of chain is there and this kind of chain is called what single standard uh, strand chain and this chain is useful to do this kind of grape point communication after that the longer the strand the more distortion of and filtering affects whenever the chain uh, strand is longer for example there are five and six people which are involved in this process of grape point communication in that case distortion and filtering is also there and it affects because of that longer strand next one most inaccuracies occur in the chain mostly when the chain is long or longer in that case there is a possibility of inaccuracies because of that longer strand longer strand chain and it affects on the quality and the procedure of grape point communication and definitely it will affect because of this kind of longer strand so this one is the first chain now moving on to the second one that is gossip chain that we call it chats which is taken place between the employees so in this kind of gossip chain as name reflects everything there is a gossip there is a discussion among the employees about one rumor or about one sort of communication that they receive from their you know friends or for example mr a so in this gossip chain what happens exactly that i'm going to tell you one person tells to other people one person tells to other people the chain passes a message regarding a not on job nature and generally considered to be slow in passing the information basically in this kind of chain what happens that i will tell you suppose a tells to b and uh, other people for example a tells to b c d e so they will get the message but they will not pass the message as they are receiving from one person so here it is not like a previous chain it is a different sort of chain which is called as gossip chain and they go for gossiping keep gossiping but in a very very slowly manner so this one is the second chain of grape point communication moving on to the third chain of grape point communication that is probability chain so here there is a probability chain and what happens in this probability chain that i'm going to tell you information may move from anybody to anybody so in this kind of probability chain information can be spread from any person to any other person this chain is found when the information is somewhat interesting but not really significant this chain is there when they feel information is good and informative so they start gossiping they start spreading the message only one some people only some people in the organization will get to know the information so in this kind of probability chain there is no chance to get the information by everybody there are some people they get the information others they won't get the information so this kind of chain is called as probability chain so here there is a probability of getting the message there is a probability of getting the rumor from someone else so this kind of chain is also differ from previous two chains moving on to the last chain of grape point communication that is cluster chain i think you people are totally aware with the concept of cluster in this kind of cluster there is one particular circle and cluster and the message is spread among that particular cluster only so how it happens that i'm going to tell you look at this individuals communities 
with only those individuals he see trust so this kind of uh, rumor is passed in a cluster they make a cluster of those people though believe themselves or they have trust themselves and rumor is passed among themselves for example there is one group so we can call it group uh, group wise uh, rumors or group wide group wise grape wine communication also so here there may be a group of certain people and they trust each other so in that particular group or in that particular cluster they communicate among themselves and they pass the message or they pass the rumors so this one is the concept of cluster or group chain and the last one in this uh, cluster chain cluster chain is the dominant grape wine pattern in the organization or in a, in an organization as i told you people come together when they are equal with their thoughts or equal with their thinking and they make their cluster they make their groups so here in case of cluster chain those sort of people when they trust each other they make their cluster they make their group and they start communicating with themselves and they pass their rumors among themselves and uh, nowadays this kind of cluster chain is very dominant in every organization as far as a grape wine grape wine uh, communication is concerned and this kind of pattern is very dominating among the organization nowadays so friends in this video we people have seen the concept of grape wine communication as well as we people have seen the different chains which are created in grape wine communication so before going to see the advantages and disadvantages of grape wine communication let me highlight you some important points of grape wine communication grape wine communication is also called as unplanned and informal network communication which is used by using social relationship rather than organizational charts so here the information is uh, flowed from uh, in informal network instead of organized network it is originated in 1860 in america during the civil war of america and information is spread among all the directions and into the entire organization this one is the concept of this grapevine communication what you people have to remember as far as this grapevine communication is concerned to remember grapevine communication is a rumor that are spread among the employees in the organization without any official source or from not any official source it becomes grapevine communication there are four different chains of grapevine communication first one is single strand chain gossip chain probability chain and cluster chain so we have seen all those chains in a thorough manner i hope you people have understood everything in uh, in a next video we are going to talk about the concept of grapevine communication with its advantages and disadvantages till then stay tuned stay connected thank you